The brain allows you to select groups of thoughts to make changes or edits in mass to very specific sets of thoughts that you have selected. But before we begin, since we'll be making changes to large areas of my brain, I'd like to create a quick brain backup. I'll click on File and select Create Brain Zip. This allows me to save a copy of my brain in its current state in case I make a change that I don't like and I want to roll back later. Now that I have my brain backed up, I can start selecting groups of thoughts and I'll do this by control clicking on individual thoughts. On a PC, adding a thought to the selection box is done with a control click. If you're working on a Mac, the same process is done with a command click. I can control click on individual thoughts or I can control click on a gate. I can also navigate through my brain without control clicking and when I find something I like, I can control click again to continue adding new thoughts or groups of thoughts into my selection box. Additionally, I can click on a thought within the selection box to navigate back to that particular area and continue on adding new thoughts once again. And if I ever have a thought appearing in my selection box that I do not want to add, I can simply control click to remove it from the selection box. Another option is to activate a thought that's already in your selection box, right click and select crawl and modify selection. This allows me to add to my selection box every childward thought for, we'll say, seven generations. Notice that I've now added 22 thoughts to my selection box to apply a mass edit or change. And let's take a look at some of those options. I'll right click in the selection box and first select copy as text outline. I've copied those thoughts to my clipboard where I can open Word, right click, and paste my copied thoughts. From here, I can select all the thoughts to continue on making modifications to my outline. Notice that this is a tab delineated list that retains the order of my connected thoughts within the brain. Additionally, I can right click and simply copy the selected thoughts. This copies not only the thought names and their relationships, but also the thought types, tags, file attachments, and graphics. I'll create a new brain, and with my new brain open, I'll right click and paste in my copied thoughts. Notice that I not only have all of my thought names and their existing relationships within that structure of the brain, but I also have the file attachments, my thought tags, my thought types, and so on. It's all there in my new brain, which is a subset of my larger master brain. Back in my master brain, I'm now control clicking on just a series of individual thoughts that are going to be my new top priorities that I'm currently working on. They range anywhere from marketing and sales items to clients that need some personal attention. I'd like to create a new thought type for this grouping of thoughts that are now my top priorities. I'll right click on my selected thoughts and create a new thought type. And now when I mouse over these thoughts within my brain, I'll see that they are currently top priority thought types. And I can do the same with thought tags as well. I'll select a group of thoughts. And now that I've control clicked on this group to add them to my selection box, I'll right click. And in this case, I'll be assigning an existing thought tag. I have a thought tag of everything that is re currently requiring additional research. And as you can see, my more research required thought tag has now been applied to that group of thoughts. Another great way to use the mass select feature is to move thoughts to different locations within my brain. I'm currently assembling a team of employees that are going to be working on a new project with me. I'll select my team with the control click
and now navigate to my project area. This group will be part of my new web team members. And with them still in my selection box, I can now right click and link the selected thoughts as children of the new thought I've just created. And as an example, you can see that Albert not only reports directly to Vicki Waters, but is now falling under a member of my web team for my new redesign. Notice when I right click, I can link selected thoughts from a particular area or unlink them as well. And one last feature that I'd like to share. From time to time, I sync my brain to the cloud and share my brain with other users. This brain is going to be shared by many of my other work colleagues, but it contains a lot of personal information. And for example, my personal finance area is not something that I want to share with other users. I'll control click on this one thought to add it to my selection box. And now right click and crawl and modify this selection. Every child word thought for up to 20 generations away. Notice that I've added 208 thoughts into my selection box. It would have taken a long time to modify each one of these individual thoughts one at a time. But with my mass select, I can now right click and select to mark these thoughts as private. Now, when I sync my brain to the cloud, I'll be able to see my private thoughts, but no one else will. Using the selection box within the brain with the control click on a PC or the command click on a Mac is a great way to edit modify, and maintain your brain as it continues to grow and evolve. Enjoy using the brain.